And what's your first name? At Circle Surrogacy in Boston's financial district, the calls have been coming in with increasing frequency, particularly from couples as far away as China looking for American surrogates. Tremendous growth in, if you look back five, six years, you wouldn't see any Chinese person in our program. And I don't mean a Chinese person, but someone who is uh, national. John Waltman is the president of Circle Surrogacy, a full-service agency providing egg donation and surrogacy to intended parents who cannot conceive naturally. The agency has worked with clients across 63 countries, and Waltman says interest from couples in China has jumped tenfold in the last three years fivefold in the past year alone. That's 50 sets of intended parents from China over the last 12 months, compared with 10 in the previous year. So when intended parents reach out to us, sometimes they're in China and we will do things by Skype. Other times they will come all the way from China here to actually meet with us. To meet the spike in demand, Circle Surrogacy has hired a Mandarin-speaking representative and is in the process of interviewing candidates for a position as a program coordinator. It also plans to increase its presence in California, which is more accessible for Chinese clients traveling by plane. From Boston to New York and across the country, there appears to be a growing number of Chinese nationals interested in surrogacy here and fertility issues isn't always the only motivation. Other factors include a desire by Chinese couples to circumvent China's restrictive family planning policy in order to have more than one child as well as an interest in American citizenship for their child. Children born in the U.S. automatically become citizens who can then apply for residency for their parents when they turn 21 years old, a big emigration draw. Hard data on the growing Chinese interest in this niche U.S. market is not available, but agencies in both China and the U.S. agree that it's real. There could be ties, too, to the growing class of wealthy Chinese. Couples looking for surrogacy can expect to pay $100,000 U.S. dollars or more for this path to parenthood. Within this market are practices like circle surrogacy that only deal with couples facing fertility issues. But other companies also provide so-called designer babies. In these cases, parents can choose the sex of the baby, and most Chinese families are said to prefer boys or egg donors from Ivy League universities and even Caucasian do donors for interracial children. Mike? Wow, it's fascinating, isn't it? Uh, let me ask you this. Is there any way to gauge the impact this change in policy might have on the surrogacy market? Because of the lack of heart data, Mike, it's a little bit tricky at this point to, to get a proper gauge. But at this moment, uh, it could be limited. The impact could be limited since this isn't so much a trend where couples in China have the option of either finding surrogates back home in China or the U.S. Surrogacy is illegal in China, which means couples looking for this as an option to start a family will still have to come to America for the medical care and experience they can get in this niche area. All right. Leiling Tang, live for us in New York. Thanks so much.